Temperatures and pressures in the green. Oh, temperature a bit low coming up. We'll select uh, change tanks. Throttle to 2000, check brakes are holding. Brakes holding. RP. RPM drop. Left mag. 75. Back to both. Right mag. Same amount. Back to both. Temperatures and pressure still in the green. Idle. Reset to 1200. Pump on. Our heat is cold. Bottle friction. Yeah. Is rich. P's and P's still in green. Lights. Got enough of uh, Charlie Texas Club. Oh, Charlie Texas Club. There you go, hang on. Fullest tank flaps are up. Trimmers neutral. Seat seat belt secure. Hatches. Uh, transponder was uh, three seven four. Tube lights are on. Light on. Okay, and this is where we do the um, captain's brief then, yeah? So uh, we're going to depart on uh, runway 27 to the west uh, with a left turn on climb out. The rotation speed will be 65 knots. If there's any engine failure before that time, um, I'll bring it to the halt on the runway. Uh, after 65 knots, if there's enough runway remaining, um, we'll try and bring it to a land. If it's not enough runway remaining, we'll look for a field um, slightly to southwest today with the wind. I missed anything. Only perhaps the part about if it all goes wrong, you retain control unless the examiner wants to take control, but he has to make that clear to you. That's very good. Okay, uh, happy here? Yep. Golf Tango Hotel, holding at Alpha 1, ready for departure. Golf Tango Hotel, we've got to runway 27, clear takeoff, wind 24013. Clear for takeoff, runway 27, Golf Tango Hotel. Okay, so uh, transponder on, landing light is on, fuel pump on, altimeter set. Feet to the floor. Wind is from the left slightly, so left aileron. Full power. P's and P's are in the green. Airspeed's coming alive. 65 knots.
Right, rudder. Three hundred foot checks. Uh, be looking for a field over that direction. These and these are good. Climb out to 208. Probably should have set up my heading box and stuff beforehand. Guns approach on one two eight to one six five five. Goodbye. Contact Guernsey approach on one two eight decimal six five five. Gold Tango Hotel. Thank you. Guernsey approach. Golf Tango. Golf Golf Oscar Tango Hotel. Passing through one thousand seven hundred. Tango Hotel, Guernsey Approach, Roger, continue towards the southwest, VFR not above 4,000 feet. Continue to southwest, VFR not above 4,000 feet, Golf Tango Hotel. Okay, um, we're past 1,000 feet, so do some checks, so uh, fuel pump can go off. Good. Keeping a lookout. Engine T's and P's are in the green. The climbing, I'll just do a steering turn. We're into cloud now, should we level off here? So to just get me down to the southwest safely, so it's up to you, isn't it? Okay. Would you normally climb into cloud on your own? No. no. So I'd do something about that if I were you. No. Level off. Drop us back down to about two and a half thousand feet so we get clear of cloud. Your clearance was VFR, wasn't it? down to about 1700. Set the nose attitude for about a 5-600 feet descent rate. Keep it under control. Good, all visual flying. Wait until we can put the foggles on you. Up at two and a half thousand. 
They're free to check, so fuel. Currently on the fullest tank. Radio's set at approach. Engine T's and P's are good. Direction is set 208. Altitude is 2,500 feet QNH. Descend now, please, to 1,500 feet. That's 800 feet per minute. Now navigate back to the Roche do, please. Um, I use... Doing whatever you there. want to do, yep. navigate back to the Roche do. Use whatever he needs to. I use this? No. no. <laughs> Except for the GPS. No. No. Left turn. Yep. So if we went about 40 degrees to the right, I'm going to go 40 degrees to the left to try and get back. Right. And how will you know when you've got back? Um, distance. Well, you could, if, you, if you knew the time that you were off heading and you'd measured that time, you altered it this way you've done for the same time, that would be reasonable. Are you the VOR? Yes, please do, yes, that's what I was looking for. Okay. So we're tuned in to... So really, we want to put this to 208 still, yeah? Yep. If it's on the right frequency, yes. So we're... So we're selected 194, we could identify it. Da da dit, da 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 dit. So, are you on the radio? I mean, yeah, so we want to... Passing it, actually, yeah. yeah. So what, which direction are you turning it to the right? right. Yeah. And what will your heading be to maintain the radio? Um, something past 210 now, so probably about 230. That'd be a little bit too, too much, I think. You're practically on the radio. And we're a fair way from Guernsey, 15 miles. So, with the current wind being about 240, maybe take up 220 and see how that goes. Also, don't forget. that settle down, then have a look at the compass. Not too, too bad, is it's about 225 on the compass, hey, about yeah. 6 degrees out. That's why it says um, use the compass, the G5s are playing up at the moment. Right. Is that closing us back onto the radial? Is the needle swinging in? Yeah, it is slowly, isn't it? Slowly. So as soon as it's closed in the middle, you can turn left a bit to maintain it. one tuned into it as well. No. You could have done had you selected 109.4 down here and you made sure it was in V-lock mode. So this one tunes to there and that one tunes to here. That's right, this is nav 1, that's nav 2, this is nav 1, that's nav I can feel a left drift because <laughs> you can time. feel a drift. Right? Well, well, makes you superhuman. That does. Oh no, just seeing. I'm seeing the. I think you're keeping it straight, but you're going to. The well, now you've got uh, this tuned in. Okay. So that's two eight. 
the middle bar is like this bar here. Register basic insurance to the PPL, but if you are uh, going to use this seriously, then we selected it, then we must identify it. Press the button to get the ID. Okay. You dialed it. Yeah. Let me know when we're over the rush to, please. Know your Morse code as well, then. <laughs> yep. You used to be tested on that, don't test it anymore, but you can have a crib sheet nowadays. Yeah. And dos, dots and doshes. Dots dos and doshes? Dots and dashes, that's it. Bit of altitude. Doing very well, I know plenty of instrument pilots that um, have a greater wandering than you are. Your PSI is your best friend, see what's going on there. So set a few extra RPMs and just ease the nose up and turn to get that sorted for the back trim. Okay, another free to check, fuel. Good. Um, sorry, fuel. Okay, should we change the tanks? Off. Pressure stays good after the pump's off, that's important. Okay, yeah. yep. uh, radio check's good, engine T's and P's in the green. Direction, uh, altitudes 1500, uh, 1500 feet still set, uh, do a car peak. Very nice. Can I have a climbing left turn please onto heading of due east? Climbing left turn. Eight knot climb, usual thing at rate one. Carry on that climbing turn at 80 knots, full power. Carry on through, Jimmy. Yep, yeah. carry on through, yep. Yeah. So just keep that rate one turn going at 80 knots and trim for it to make life easy for yourself. That's the idea. Most of your attention is here, so it's about 10 degrees pitch up seems to work. It's a gentle angular bank. Now change it to level flight, climbing, sorry I beg your pardon, that's ridiculous, it's level climbing, climbing but in a straight line, let's get it right, thank you, now into a right hand turn, onto a heading of zero two zero. Right rudder in the climb, you've got full power going on, haven't you? So keep the ball in the middle. You seem to have shot through the heading, but don't worry, take it easy on instruments. Things should be slow, don't panic on instruments, just change things gently. It doesn't matter that we went through heading, just sort it out carefully. Set the picture. 10 degrees pitch up. That's it. 
Nice job. Level off there, please. That'll do fine. Attitude, speed, power, trip. Let the speed build up before we bring the power off. Otherwise it won't. Attitude on the horizon. Yeah. There you go, that's where it should be. Fine job. All your attention is here. So if we had the right power set and this was on the horizon, then it will fly level at the correct speed. Yeah? Good. On that heading, descend to 2,500 feet, please. Made that 2,800. And navigate back to Guernsey. Pick up the ATIS as soon as you're able. Well up to there is that I put it on the reciprocal heading. Does that mean we need to go right left or is that work not oh it's not working, is that mean no? So this heading looks correct, so Position, navigate back to Guernsey. Okay. So I would say maybe we need to go north, yeah? Correct. Right. 
so we were way off to the east. Okay. And actually it was just telling you to turn left, so if you wanted to get back on 030, that would be if you would turn left and you'd have got there eventually. Now you've selected to navigate us straight back to Guernsey on about 005. With the westerly wind heading a slightly left of north should be good. Press the button. Change the course. Course. Yeah, dial up 005 on that. Press the button. Good. Blue line there, that's just a course selector bug. So if that's in your way, turn it out of the way. Okay. Yep. It's not looking so nice over Guernsey now. Okay. Look at your own <laughs> instruments. Anyway, just for fun, we'll take you there and give you a high key PFL position to start your practice course landing. I didn't tell you about that on the briefing, did I? But I just decided that'd be a good fun. You did one last time. No, I didn't get to because we uh, you demonstrated one. Yeah, well, same thing. You've got to see one, eh? Now it's got to play one. Nobody else reported the uh, wheel shimmy then? We're drifting right, sir. Look. Okay. Nobody else reported what, sorry? The wheel shimmy we had when we uh, landed. No, no, it hasn't off flown it today. It's just, I think it. You can set a, a vibration upon the wheel. Send me 27 news. The uh, towers are aware of your requirements. Contact Gandhi Tower 119.195. Over to Tower 119.195. Golf Tower, sir. Thanks, boy. Good afternoon, it's Golf, Golf Oscar Tango Hotel, six miles to the southwest at 2500. Requesting a PFL from about one mile southwest of the field then into the circuit. Golf, Golf Oscar Tango Hotel, Roger, report ready to come in and see PFL. Okay, Golf Tango Hotel. So you've recognised the need to turn left to close that race. Now you're getting close to the airfield, so it will close quite rapidly. So smaller headings to close it than you would further away. You'll see that green bar shooting over shortly. Distance from the airfield is? 5.5. Slam distance, yeah. Slam range. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't make any practical difference when you sort of seven or eight miles away, but as you get closer. It will, because we're about just under half a mile high anyway. Well, that was really nice instrument flying. You can take those goggles off now. Thank you. So we're going to position as if we'd just um, done the climb out on 2.7, then turn left, and we're about to go downwind. So the start of the downwind leg your high key thing and you're already at it quite conveniently. So I'd like you to just um, sort of turn right and then do the PFL. Try and fit in as much as you can that we demoed last week. Slide off to the north now, so turn right a bit. That's good. And your next radio call when you're about a mile away from the field will be Golf Tanger Hotel, commencing PFL. I'd turn on to downwind before that or after that? I'd leave it um, till you're sort of just off the cliff, so you're about a mile out from the airfield, which is about what you'd be looking for for your real force landing, you know. Just imagine.
imagine you're flying along in France at the moment and that's going to be your field. You wouldn't be choosing one up where uh, the North Sea Island is, it's way too far away, but you could be choosing things around yeah. here, couldn't you? Yeah. It's up to you to try and get your eye in. I shall shut up and see what you do. Okay, commence turn. Yep, just give him a ring. Golf Tango Hotel, commencing PFL. Golf Tango Hotel, commencing PFL. Golf Tango Hotel, that procedure is approved. Report on final, you number one. Report final, number one, Golf Tango Hotel. Right, throttle right back, yeah? Yep, all the way back, no power. Right, trim for glide. Which is what speed? 75. Well done. Clear the circuit for your final above altitude, 1,000 feet, first circuit right hand, Golf, Golf Oscar Tango Hotel. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do uh, car peaks on. Good to be down, November 6th, yeah, Bravo, with you positioning uh, left base for... Change uh, tanks, season. mixture rich. November 1, 1, 6, yeah, Bravo, um, again, Z Tower. Try and restart the engine. Good afternoon, continue approach for 27, your number 2, number 1, Z Tower. Engine's not restarting, so mayday, 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 go, 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 I've overflown it because I know you said the wing needed to be a third down the runway, but we're a bit far away. Quite a little engine warming, you've got to do that anyway. Brum, brum. Okay. Good. So, if the runway is coming under the cowling, uh, we're overtaking it, we're going to land late. And if the runway is getting away from us, we're going to land early. What do you think? Um, we're high, but I think... We are high, so what are you going to do? I could do a flap, uh, one flap now. I'd definitely put some flap down, at least one. Now, is the runway catching us, or are we sliding away from it? It's still, we're still overtaking the runway, aren't we? Tango Tower, runway 87, get touch and go, the wind 24011. Let's go, got Tango Tower. Yep, so we're definitely, definitely high, and you need to get down. The flap? Yeah, definitely. Go for the third stage. Maintain 75 or a greater. Right, now you can see that we're still overtaking the runway slightly, but I suspect we'd land about halfway down the field from this, but let's let's rock it on and see what happens. Remember, we can always dive a little bit of speed off, like I showed you last week, if we're very high. But I'd rather you didn't side slip when you got the flaps down, it's not good. Sorry, I didn't catch that. He's dropping a bit. Below the nose. Good, keep the nose down. Good, that's it. Now begin levelling out. Hold it off just above the ground, please. You're a little bit high. That's it. a bit of power in there because we were going to come down heavy but that was actually very very nice well done the flaps were in off we go so really really good we were high and you saw how the flaps managed to sort that out probably side slipping whilst we were high before committing ourselves to flaps would have been a better move but you saw that you survived that you walked away didn't you rounded out about five or six feet too high but yeah. it was slow on airspin so to avoid it coming down heavy we just popped it about the right hand circuit. Yeah, land 27, November 6th, Bravo.
Blake's a good turning point on this one on the outside of the reservoir. So if you turn downwind, you'll see the radio mast. That's a good turning point. Feels very different to a left hand circuit, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, that's southern wee wind pushing, isn't it? Yeah, you can feel it skidding across, can't you? Just as well, actually, because we're a little bit close to the airfield. Get your radio call in before you're too late. Gold Tango Hotel, right downwind, touch and go. Gold Tango Hotel, we'll show you number two, two narrow commander in your right, one o'clock, range of a mile and a half, 900 feet on final. Number two, looking. Looking for traffic, Gold Tango Hotel. He's out a bit to the left. Traffic now has to be half a mile, 700 feet, very short final. Very short now, Golf Tango Hotel. Golf Tango Hotel, return report final. Report final, Golf Tango Hotel. Pacific Sierra Bravo, left to Charlie, taxi to ASG, goodbye. Left to Charlie, into ASG, taxi to Bravo. Best to get those flaps down on base, right? Don't go deploying flaps when you're actually turning on to final, yeah? Get to it on base, turn on to find then sort it out, don't try and do a turn and flaps. Left hand hotel, runway 27, clear touch and go, wind 230 degrees, 13 knots, see clear to left hand circuit now. Clear touch and go, and left hand circuit afterwards, Golf Tango Hotel.
So we've been doing mostly two flap landings? Yeah. Okay. So when we did that PFL we had the third stage of flap down and no power at all, so rounding out high you sort of stop dead in the air and come down for the slam. So that explains it. Tango Hotel, downwind left for touch and go. Golden Hotel, Hotel number one, from way 27, clear touch and go, wind 240, one four, left hand circuit again. Number one, clear touch and go, Golf Tango Hotel. Okay, brakes off, undercarriage, down and locked. Extra rich, tank, um, we were changing really. Um, Engine T's and P's good, carb heat on, harnesses and hatches secure. This one, you had a little bit of turbulence coming down. Try to imagine the controls are stirring a thick pot of honey and you're only allowed to do small movements. That's it, that's nice. Go turn it off, fine. Okay, thank you. Let's go, the wind 24012. Let's go, go turn it off. already cleared us earlier, didn't it? Being an idiot again. That's better. So you get this little bit of touch, just ignore it. So if you hold the control column still, it doesn't actually make much difference. You can overcorrect and then the airplane shoots around and you have to do big control inputs, yeah? Rudder or not? Sorry? Any rudder or not? Yeah, so we've got a crosswind from the left. What we're going to have to do at the last minute is kick it straight with right rudder and just pop the left wheel down first like that. Yeah. Probably not as much as I showed there, because on the ground the crosswind won't be so great. That's it. Good, nice control. Yeah, didn't overreact, that's good. I'll pop a bit of right rudder in just to line the fuselage up. Generally speaking, dangle the left wheel a bit. Okay. Power it down so we come down. See how I do? Bit of right rudder. Keep the fuselage straight with the runway, and just generally have the left wheel touching down first. That's nice. Keep it coming down. The flare is normal, with the left wheel slightly lower. That's the idea. Left wheel lower. See so if you can pop the left wheel down first. That is beautiful. Well done. Crosswind landing. Nice job. Any questions on that? No. So we use the rudder to line the fuselage up straight with the runway, so don't try and land the plane sideways. But if we didn't do anything else, we would drift downwind. So we dangled the interwind wing slightly to slide through the air at the same rate the air is moving over us. Okay, yeah. So we just put the left wheel down first. That was really well done.
Tango Hotel, downwind left, left to land. Tango Hotel, runway 27, you are clear to land. The wind 230, runway 1. Clear to land, Golf Tango Hotel. My brakes off, undercarriage down the lock, mixture rich. I'm on, full of tank selected. Uh, landing light is on. Engine T's and B's and car peak. Harness isn't actually secure. in a little bit, but it gives us quite a short time on base with this wind, doesn't it? Yeah, well the wind's also blowing yeah. you in, isn't it, from 
of Tango Hotel going around. Excellent decision, well done. If you're not sure, just go around. Hope was okay, but then I had that. Yeah, a little well. bit of a balloon just at the last second, wasn't there? A bit of a bounce around there. Hotel, downwind left to land. Then Clinton, from 47, you're clear to land, wind 23012. Clear to land, Golf Tango Hotel. Brakes off. The carriage down the locks, mixture rich, fuel pump on, landing light on. He's in the green, car peak. Honest is in hatches fuel. Oh.
ground control. Yeah, it's just because you came in too fast, you see, what you're doing, you're coming too fast. So when you had to flare it last minute, you were actually just shooting back up into the sky. We just land with a little bit of power on like that. Yep. So it's your approach speed, which is a little bit on the high side, so you still have about 65 knots, so you had that little bit of an upset, and that caused you to have to boot zoom up in the sky. But yeah. Yeah, absolutely the right thing to do. That's a club by Charlie Gold, thank you, thank you. So, very good, and you're about to go around again, which is absolutely fine. That was your first taste of crosswind landings, you coped extremely well, and you made the right decisions. I suspect actually you would have got that one in, but I preferred it that you just chose to go around. So that's great, well done. You're flying at uh, how many hours, 20 hours is it, less than that? Uh, 13 that was, I Yeah, well you're better than I was at 100 hours, I'll tell you that. Any questions? No, I don't think so. I think um, if, you're, if you're so low, I think when you've <laughs> when you've had two go rounds, it gets a bit disconcerting. You think am I might ever get yes. around this, but yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Yeah. don't let psychology beat you. Be safe. Going around isn't going to hurt you, is it? Running out of fuel, but you've got another two hours of fuel for that. Yeah. Happens, so just collect your thoughts. And if the crosswind came up to something that you weren't happy with, where can I go? Maybe I'll go off to Jersey, where it might be better yeah. or to get the weather, you know. I don't think I would have been comfortable so lowing yeah. that today. No, no, no. But you see, your approach speed was hovering around the 80 mark knot. Yeah, okay. And so that extra 10 knots is a lot of energy. It's like 20% more energy, yeah. although it's only 10 knots. So you've got to dissipate it along the runway and get the airspeed back. Because it doesn't want to land whilst it's no. still got flying speed. Point its nose up, it goes up. I was impressed. <laughs>